Hey, it's Adam Hike, Director of Performance here at OB Sports. And in today's series, I'm going to demonstrate a great sequence of exercises to help increase the strength of your core. Let's get into it. We're going to start in a forearm plank position. So the forearm plank, I'm going to want my elbows directly under my shoulders, feet shoulder width apart. From here, I'm going to bring my hips up into a neutral spine angle, keeping my abs nice and tight. And I'm going to hold this for a few seconds, pulling those abs up, getting those abs warmed up. Now, from here, I'm going to come up into a push-up position by driving up into my push-up position, so good strength movement, again, keeping some core stability. And now I'm going to rotate my upper body only. So rotate, rotate, good. I'm going to do a few of these on each side. Notice how I'm keeping my toes pointed towards the ground so that my hips maintain as neutral as possible as I rotate. So I'm getting good upper body separation, right? So upper body mobility, lower body stability. Then I'm going to come back down to my forearm plank, find my abs again. Then I'm going to drive back up. Now I'm going to do upper body stability, lower body mobility. So I'm going to bring one knee in and drive it to the opposite side. Do a few of these on each side. Exhale as I knee drive, pulling those abs up into my spine and then back down, okay? So, again, it's a nice little sequence that you can walk through several times, making sure that your hips stay neutral so you don't put any additional pressure on your low back. It's great for core stability and strength. And then that upper and lower body separation, right, or disassociation that we really need during a golf swing. I hope you enjoyed that movement. Try, it, try to incorporate it into this week's routine, and I guarantee it will help your performance and might help you tone up that midsection a little bit as well. Thanks so much for joining me. We look forward to seeing you soon.